Hey everybody, thank you for joining us. In this video, we will take a look at how to use the Allen Bradley L5K driver support in Red Lion's Crimson 3 software to establish communications between a Red Lion G3 HMI, Data Station Plus, or a modular controller, and an Allen Bradley Compact Logics or Control Logics PLC over Ethernet. By saving your PLC program from RS Logics as an L5K file and importing that file into Crimson 3, you gain direct access to the native tag addressing scheme in the Compact Logic or Control Logic PLCs. So instead of having to reference and map Crimson 3 tags to a list of nondescript register values in the PLC, you end up with a list of named data items from the PLC to map your tags to. Let's take a quick look at how that works. The first thing I want to bring to your attention though is that there are very few steps to getting this job done. The complexity factor is so low in fact that you'll be hitting rewind looking for the hard parts and well there aren't any. So here we go. First go to your PLC program in RS Logics and click File, Save As. Then in the Save As dialog box drop the Save As type menu and select, you guessed it, L5K and click the Save button and you've just created your L5K file. Now in the Red Lion Crimson 3 software go to the Communications section, enable your Ethernet network, here you can see I picked a manual configuration for my port mode and gave it an IP address. Select Protocol 1 and using the Driver Picker select Allen Bradley, Native Tags via L5K file and OK. I like to rename the device to make it more recognizable the next time I lay eyes on it. Now, to import the L5K file, which will contain all of the native tag names we're looking for, click on the View Tag Names button. Take notice that in Crimson 2, only the controller tags were imported from the L5K file. In Crimson 3, the program tags come along for the ride as well. So this is as hard as it gets. Click the Import button. Navigate, if necessary, to where you saved your L5K file and click on it. This populates the tag tree with the controller and program tags from the L5K file and the importation process is complete. Now let's navigate to data tags and create a new tag. Because I happen to know there's a native tag in my PLC indicative of speed, I'll rename this tag P1 Speed. If I drop the source menu, slide down and select the Allen Bradley device, the imported L5K file serves as a window to the controller and program tags inside the Compact Logics or Control Logics PLC. I select the native tag I'm looking for, and my Crimson 3 tag is now mapped to that native tag. I'd like to point out, in case it snuck by you like it did me the first time I saw it, that this particular native tag that I chose to map to is of the Rio or floating point variety. When I completed the mapping process, Crimson 3 was smart enough to change its tag type to the floating point variety as well. And one last thing, only the tags from the list that you've decided to map to Crimson tags will get downloaded to your target device, in this case a G310. So you won't be chewing up memory in your target device with a bunch of tags you may have decided not to use. And so, as you can see, through the use of this unique import utility, Compact Logics and Control Logic users can now take full advantage of Crimson 3's battery of advanced features including protocol conversion, data logging, and web server. And for more information about all of Red Lion's superior product line, please don't forget to visit our website at redlion.net, and we will catch up with you the next time around. Thank you for sharing your time with us.